the biggest event of the summer is finally here and things are about to heat up. As tonight, the Universal Championship on the line in a triple threat match in Xavier Woods' first title defence after cashing in his Money in the Bank contract a few weeks ago. But tonight has to defend against Seth Rollins and Sami Zayn. Alundra Blaze puts a SmackDown Women's Championship on the line against Sasha Banks. Kevin Owens and AJ Styles face off one more time for the Intercontinental Championship. And if the pass is anything to go by, then this will not be one to miss. Roman Reigns and Stone Cold renew their rivalry over the WWE Championship. But who will get the best of the other tonight? Asuka has held the Raw Women's Championship for a while now. But can Mickie James be the woman to dethrone her or just be another victim? The Miz puts his title on the line as the United States Open Challenge continues. But first tonight, the Raw Tag Team Championships are on the line as American Alpha, who have dominated the Tag Team division for nearly a year, face Dean Ambrose and Finn Balor, who won a Tag Team tournament to win this chance. But can Dean Ambrose and Finn Balor be the team to finally end the era of American Alpha? The future is bright for the Irishman, Finn Balor. to the ring at a combined weight of 415 pounds Dean Ambrose and Finn Balor and their opponent at a combined weight of 447 pounds they are the Raw Tag Team Champions Chad Gable and Jason Jordan American Alpha. So don't move a muscle. can't believe it. He's going for the pin. And it's Ambrose able to stop the count. Still seems a little early. Clearly on a mission here. The cover. And it's Ambrose 
was able to stop the count. Too early for that. The human body can only absorb so much of that. The champion into the cover. Real nicely done. I can't believe he's in this. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. look on the face of the champ he came into this match expecting a fight and that's exactly what he's getting i know it's early but if things stayed the way they are winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him oh, guys man. these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight which isn't surprising considering what's on the line here in this championship match wow he got out of it yeah i'm not so sure he had it fully locked in I gotta agree with you, Michael. These superstars are in tremendous shape. Yeah. From what I understand, the champ has been hitting the gym twice daily in preparation for tonight. I heard the same thing, Saxton. Once in the morning, then again at night after the show. Which makes me wonder when the champ actually sleeps. If at all. You guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. I think things are about to get turned upside down. I think you are correct. Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think nerves will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion, especially considering how many times the champ's been in big-time matches like this. I'd agree the champ is used to the bright lights and bright stage. Dare I say, it's almost second nature at this point. Look at Chad Gable here. Challenger starting to falter. But he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. The beauty of tag team competition oh. is that he doesn't need it nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. You got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. This isn't going to be good. Oh, this is some great offense by Finn Balor. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you, bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. And as you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt him. Gable's looking to finish this. German suplex. I'm not sure how much he has left. Things do not look good for Finn Balor. And a kick out. Balor shooting out of that pinfall like a bullet. Looking for an opening for that. Chad Gable is in position. Beautiful German suplex. Here's his moment, Michael. The champion. Too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that way too early. Amazing move there. Cover here. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Along it. They did it. somebody like that you've done something right and that's exactly the type of action we've come to expect when the tag titles are on the line the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the united states championship
Introducing the challenger from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, Jinder Mahal. Introducing the champion, residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, he is the United States champion, The Miz. Get ready for some WWE magic. The Miz proclaims to be the most must-see WWE superstar of all time. Well, the awesome one is going to have his chance to prove that right now. Check out Jinder Mahal's offense. This is the offense he's known for. Check out Jinder Mahal's offense. Oh, look at this. Oh, I think this man means business. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. Nice job by the Miz. There's a pin now. Shoulders on the mat. Mahal gets the shoulder up. The Maharaja refusing to stay down. Impact and then some. To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the challenger's first rodeo. Everybody knows exactly what's at stake here. Great offense by The Miz. Oh, oh, the Miz. That's going to hurt. The challenger's taking on some offense. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. A lot of people are saying the champion has never looked better, but that doesn't mean we can't see an upset here tonight. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. As Byron was talking earlier about the champ being a heavy oh, favorite here tonight, I couldn't help but think back to the night Santino Morella defeated Umaga for the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think there was a person alive who thought Santino had even a sliver of hope. Yeah, including Santino himself. But hey, as the old saying goes, anything can happen in the WWE. Believe it or not, fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight. Oh boy, he is rolling. And Mahal just barely getting out of the way. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up. He breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. And he lands the slam. The challenger not in a great place. The champ clearly getting the best of him here. But if you're counting him out now, you haven't been paying attention. He has more resolve than just about anybody on the roster. Great effort, but he'd better save something for later in the match. If you ask me, fellas, this championship match is among the most highly anticipated that we've seen in quite some time. And Mahal just barely getting out of the way. He wants no part of the outside. Like you, Corey, I've had this championship match on my radar for quite some time. And so far, I think it's safe to say that it hasn't disappointed. No, watch it. Miss. Step DDT. 
The Miz is going to clinch it right here. Can he end it here? The Miz is looking at figure four leg lock. Can he finish the job? Jeez. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Let me tell you, that can cause some serious injury. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match. What's he doing? If you asked me at the beginning of the night, I'd tell you that there was no way this title reign was coming to an end. But now, I'm not so sure. The challenger just refuses to be denied here tonight. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allowed, here's a cover. One, two, and the champ kicks out. Still a lot more fight left. Shin breaker. Oh boy, he is rolling. He wants no part of the outside. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. He's making a statement here with this attack. Showing off some of his speed there. I can tell you. And the Miz, the quick cover. Kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. Mahal finding something in the reserves. The Miz is looking in this. And the Miz delivers the snap DDT, and that should do it. This one's over. The champion into the cover. The history books will have to wait another day. Here is your winner, and still the United States Champion, The Miz. Now that's an eye-opening victory. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and is for the Raw Women's Championship. They're on their feet! For Mickey! Behold, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka! Introducing the challenger from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James. Introducing the champion from Osaka, Japan, the Raw Women's Champion, Asuka. Plant your butts in those seats and get ready.
Oh, that might have broken her nose. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of oh, battle man. that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. Wow. Nice job by Oscar. Oscar with the offense. Oh no, this isn't going to end well. Nice job by Oscar. She is solely focused on that arm. Using her feet here. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. And it's a long way down from there. This won't end well. Now, she's got all the right moves. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. She's not careful. Things can get out of control in a hurry. Uh, I think they're about to. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. When you're that good, you have every right to bow your chest out a little bit. I know anything is possible, but I just can't envision a new champ being going for the cover. And Asuka powers out. Still seems a little early. Great move! The challenger not looking good right now. This is not where she wants to be if she wants to become champion. Byron, I agree that the champ comes into tonight with a great deal of momentum, but like you said, anything can happen. We've seen champs get upset. Uh-oh, Asuka is looking to end it. Oh, sliding hip attack. I can't believe it, Mike. The champion into the cover. And the fight must go on. Not yet. Oscar getting ready here. Unleashes the sleeper trying to put this match to bed. Oh, it's over. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. For some reason, she lets it go. Did you ever stop to think that she might have something else planned? The champion into the cover! Yes! Unreal performance! This one's over, folks. Asuka picks up the win. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time to come. What an effort we saw here. Truly a great match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. When you think Attitude Era, you think Stone Cold. And here is the big dog.
Now, Roman Reigns once told me he carries his family legacy as a badge of honor that fuels his confidence that cannot be broken. Introducing the challenger from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Introducing the champion from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Roman Reigns. So don't move a muscle. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, mano-a-mano. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Check out Steve Austin's offense. Looks like he's got it applied perfectly and a pin attempt. And Roman Reigns gets out quickly. Wow. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one, as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. He slams him down with authority. The champ's on the defensive now. Now he comes into this championship match with a full tank of gas and ready for a fight. To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course, depends on the outcome of this match here tonight. And with that, Austin sets it up. And Austin, Luthes press, Luthes press. Look at him go. Nice, shut it down. Austin. Stunner! Stone Cold with a stunner! I'm not sure how much. Got the shoulders down. And the champ kicks out. Not yet. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Steve Austin showing some expert crap. He's going for the pin. Kicks out in the nick of time. He's making the Anawaii family proud, as usual. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. Six. He's inflicting some serious pain here. 
You got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. Yeah, we all know he's a guy with great skill and endurance. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. And there's his speed paying off. Roman Reigns gathering attention in a hurry. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Poole. It's from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. And as you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt it. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. That ought to be worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Wow, he just slammed him with ease. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh boy, he is rolling. Just a step quicker, it looks like. There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep, get rid of the self-doubt, and continue on toward victory. Near a count-out here, Corey. It would be a shame if this ends in a count-out, Cole. Incoming from Austin. And Austin, Luthes press, Luthes press. Look at him go. That's what he was Kenny doing here. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Roman Reigns just powering out of that pin attempt. Oh boy, he is rolling. Roman Superman punch! Good night! This is his opportunity. To We've got to cover. One, two, three! And Roman Reigns is your winner. Introducing the challenger from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles.
Introducing the champion from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds. He is the Intercontinental Champion, Kevin. So don't move a muscle. Well, the bell is rung, and Kevin Owens is prancing and prowling, so we're in for a good one here. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. Look at the presumptuous attitude of Kevin Owens. It's called confidence, Saxton, and all the elite superstars have it. You have to walk in believing you're going to beat up your opponent. Trap the arm. So damaging. Ow, that hurt. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Great offense by AJ Styles. That's not great, Cole. That's phenomenal. Forearms for the second rope. Driving down. Speaking of champions heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the Honky Talk Man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. We all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> you are so right, Michael. That was great, of course, though. It wasn't so great for the Honky Talk Man who ended up losing his championship to the Ultimate Warrior in fewer than 30 seconds. A big fight feel inside this arena here tonight for this huge championship match. And so far, I'd say these competitors have brought their A games. Kevin Owens doing a great job of turning that one around. Takes him down in a major way, too. The champ starting to falter a bit. His championship reign may very well be holding on by a thread. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on an incredible move by AJ Styles. This could be it, guys. You're absolutely right, Michael. This arena is electric right now. And I think part of it is their desire to be part of history. I think they're all anticipating a title change here tonight. Pull your jets, Saxton. Let's not go crowning a new champion just yet. There's still plenty of match to go here. AJ Styles is getting ready. Dodges a bullet there. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, what's Kevin Owens putting together here? And he's able to get the shoulder up. Not yet. He's going for the pin. This could be it. This one's far from over. Have to put in a little more work than that. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher. The champion into the cover. And a quick kick out from AJ Styles. Oh, wow. Kevin Owens is a force within the ring. The stop in the leg. This master.
The damage has been done. A bad place to be for the challenger. And you have to wonder how much the challenger can sustain at this point. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He the champion into the cover! Guys, a lot of people are predicting a new champion here tonight. Even a poll on WWE.com earlier today predicted we'd have a new champ. But at the risk of being a downer, I'll believe it when I see it. He's going for it all. Look out! He's got him now. Right, AJ Styles with a burst of energy. When this guy's on, look out. Kevin Owens offense. Oh, and he reverses it. AJ Styles able to avoid damage there. Such a technician. And a savage clothesline. The challenger in some big trouble here. Looks like he's starting to feel the pressure of competing in this championship match. Let's remember, though, guys, his opponent doesn't seem to be in great shape either. The WWE Championship is on the line. Oh boy, he is rolling. Man, Kevin Owens, what offense. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. The WWE Championship is on the line. Look at this. This has been a war. Oh, oh, here comes the phenomenal one. Fast for him. Surprisingly quick. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. A quick reversal by Kevin Owens. Oh, the reversal by AJ Styles. Kevin Owens. Oh, oh, power bomb. Here's his moment, Michael. That'll readjust your spine. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. And he got a near fall out of it. How in the world? AJ Styles with a nice reversal. Wow, ah, what an arm drag. AJ Styles with a burst of energy. Oh, what a close line. A nasty kick there. Shoulders down, championship on the line. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Wow, I thought this was over. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Kevin Owens just too fast for him. Surprisingly quick. He's making a statement here with this attack. Bringing it back into the ring. Game changer. Avoids trouble there. Close line. Good grief. God, what a stiff shot. And right on the mark. AJ Styles may have it. Styles crash. We might have a new 
champion here, guys. And he got a near fall out of it. Prize fighters like KO don't stay down. They fight. His shoulders are down. Two! I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Here's the pin. Title on the line. And AJ Styles powers out. He needs to change something fast, guys. Feel the effects of this win for a while. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. It's boss time, and here comes Sasha.
Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. Introducing the champion from Tampa, Florida, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Alundra Blaze. So don't move a muscle. Running clothesline. No more talking behind each other's backs. Now they are face to face. And pretty soon, fist to fist. Banks on the attack. This is where Sasha Banks is at her best. Popped up. Oh no, she's in a bad way. Penny in predicament. And the champ kicks out. She's still in this one. The kick gets her. She wants this win bad. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here. Uh-oh. Watch out. Sasha Banks is really on the attack now. Here comes the boss. You're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here, and while it's rare, we have seen the challenger head into the match as the heavy favorite. Bruno San Martino challenging Stan Stasiak in 1973 immediately comes to mind, as does Diesel squaring off against Bob Backlund in 1994. Wait, did you really just say that Saxton is not crazy, Cole? Man, just when I started to think you might be all right, you go and say something ridiculous like that. Sasha Banks dodged out of the way there. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Believe it or not, guys, this superstar wasn't overly pleased with this past week's rankings. And you know what? I tend to agree. Who's voting on this stuff anyway? Here comes Sasha Banks. Bankrupt. She is just so dominant. Banks needs to capitalize on this opportunity now. Well, while I disagree with Corey's assessment of this week's rankings, I do support his right to an opinion. And you too can voice your opinion on this week's rankings by using hashtag WWE Power Rankings on social media. And I'm seeing a lot of varying opinions, which is great. Though, interestingly enough, she goes for the cover. And Sasha Banks pops the shoulder up way too early. Wow, Sasha Banks gets the reversal. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Two. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. And Given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say there's almost no coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It seems like that finisher has become more and more impactful. 
impactful with each passing week, if that's even possible. And here comes Alundra Blaze. Back now inside the ring. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Alundra Blaze just barely got out of the way. She's definitely energized, but she better make sure she saves something for later. Oh, how the heck do you get up from that? Alundra Blaze looks to be in very bad shape. Her championship reign may very well be reaching its end here tonight. And yeah, things look bleak right now. Give her credit, though, guys. She may be on the wrong end of this battle right now, but she is showing absolutely no signs of giving up. You've got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. She comes up big with a reversal. Oh, there pulls that slam! Alundra Blaze just barely got out of the way. Oh yeah, here's Alundra Blaze. It could be over here! This is it! Digging deep for a kick out. She's still in this one. Uh-oh, gentlemen, it is turning into boss time. You stole my line again. What are we gonna see here? Hung up on the second row! Can she keep her down? The pinfall and the victory. Here's your winner and the new SmackDown Women's Champion, Sasha Banks. It's a win here tonight for Sasha Banks. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. That's just the harsh reality of it. No surprise there. That was exactly what we expected when the match was announced for SummerSlam. What an incredible effort all around. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. Introducing the challenger from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth. just turned into a theme park of happiness. And introducing the champion from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, Xavier Woods. Uh, Xavier with Francesca number 88. Oh man, I would love to have my own Francesca.
I would be remiss if I didn't mention, and it's important to remember amidst the chaos of a triple threat match, that victory can be achieved in many different ways, and that it's every man for himself. Gentlemen, you can almost literally feel the electricity in the air as we kick off this triple threat match. Hey, if Seth Rollins decides to burn it down tonight, uh, hey, Corey, can I borrow your water bottle? I'll tell you what, Byron, if you really want to stay safe, how about you leave the commentary table for the rest of the night? I'll cover for you. I got this. That's a little extreme. Sami Zayn sees the chance to go aerial. And the offensive display by Sami Zayn. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. Oh. He can't rest on his laurels here. There are two other guys in there that want this match just as much as he does. He's got to be careful here. While he hasn't absorbed too much punishment yet, triple threat match. The so champion down. into the cover. And Sami Zayn gets out of the pinfall. Remarkable. <laughs> Vertical suplex. Nice. Xavier Woods making his statement as we speak. Drops the elbow on him. Right on the jaw. His shoulders are down. And the champ kicks out. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Big time move. He's a click. He goes for the cover. And Sami Zayn gets out of the pinfall. Did Zayn kick out there? I'd say, yep. Oh, don't start. There's a big reversal by Seth Rollins. How good is Seth Rollins? Byron, I had a similar experience as you this morning. Nearly every person at the gym I went to was talking about this title match, and rightfully so. This is an absolutely huge match. Okay, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. Byron spent the morning at the bookstore while you, Cole, went to the gym. Man, that's brilliant. You guys have any other jokes? Oh, I think this man means business. It's always nice when you see a superstar who's clearly been putting the work in get recognized with an impressive spot in the weekly rankings as this competitor did this past week. Sami Zayn with the offense. And Sami Zayn reverses it. And Michael, while the rankings this past week certainly were impressive, I can only imagine the heights that Zane's looking to end it. Look at him move. What acrobatics. Oh, it's over. More often than not, that marks the end of the match. He wants no part of the outside. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. Look at this! Yeah, and he's feeding off it right now. Let's see if he can keep it up. Up against the barrier now. I think that barrier might be the only thing holding him up. I think you're right. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying. But it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done. And even then, it's not a sure bet. A la Randy Savage versus the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drop, but was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know what? He probably could have hit him with five more. There was just no stopping the Warrior on that night. The challenger looking absolutely exhausted in there. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Seth Rollins got out of there in the nick of time. They should count his lucky stars. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, well, better not think too long, though. Looks like a power bomb coming up. There may be no escaping this one, Cole. Man, Xavier Woods, what offense. Xavier Woods finds himself in some trouble. Unfortunately for the champ, momentum is clearly on the challenger's side right now. Nothing good happens outside the ring. 
which is why I love it when guys go out there. The ball is lost in the woods. Ball's fans have plenty to worry about here. He's got the shoulders down. And he got a near fall out of it. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Look at this. An easy kick out from Rollins. Wow, just when you think he's done, Seth Rollins finds the strength to power through and battle off. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Got him where he wants him. Oh, message delivered. Here's a cover. Could be it. And the champ kicks out way too early. Seth Rollins coming in. Get it right to the back of the neck. Seth freak. He's got him covered. And he breaks up the count. One arm hooked. That we got a cover. And he's able to get out. How'd he do that? It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. The champ is in a bad way here. There's a very real chance he might not be able to recover from this here in this triple threat match. Guys, you can tell he's drained, but I guarantee you that won't stop him from doing everything he can to win this thing. Oh boy, he is rolling. He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. Now Seth Rollins looking to put this one to an end. Seth, Seth Rollins really picking up the pace now. The King Slayer looking to burn it down. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Seth Rollins has looked absolutely flattened him. What a comeback. The situation just got real. The champion into the cover. Two. Too close for cover. He can't let that happen again. He's still in this. Incredible impact on that slam. Arnie dodges out of the way. Zane's looking to end it. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Let's look at the replay. Nice move right there. What does Xavier Woods have in store? Oh boy, he is rolling. He wants no part of the outside. Seth Rollins gets out of trouble and quickly. From what we've seen and heard tonight, they're quickly into the cover with the title on the line. And the champ kicks out. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, super kick! Is it enough to put Sami Zayn away? But does Rollins have the wherewithal to capitalize? He better. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. And here we go. Seth Rollins sees his opening. Get him right to the oh. back of the neck. We might be looking at a new... Looking for all the glory here. Two. Three. And Seth Rollins is the winner. Dropped. And that was a hard shot, Corey. Yeah, you might want to think about throwing in the towel at this point. Here is your winner. And the new WWE Universal Champion... Now that's eking out.